What's up fellow oofs? Today we're talking about corporate Roblox games. And I guarantee you are not prepared for what we go over in this video. I certainly wasn't. I had no idea these are even a thing until I sadly saw an ad for Walmart Land. Which sounds like a dystopian hellscape, but it piqued my interest. Now, as an experienced veteran Robloxian myself, I just had to go. As I stepped into the pearly gates of capitalism heaven, I instantly collapsed due to the sheer amount of filth I was witnessing. This game was straight up garbage. So completely, utterly terrible that I just had to do some more digging into the world of corporate Roblox games. So I found a few unforgivably terrible games that we're gonna go over in this video. There's a couple really bad Walmart games, and then there's two honorable mentions. So let's get right into it. First up is the one and only Walmart Land. A game where you just run around and do random things completely unrelated to Walmart in any way. On Walmart's YouTube channel, they have a trailer for the game, and at the end it says, See Walmart like never before. And you know what? They're not wrong. What I have seen is unreal. Walmart Land is basically an amalgamation of minigames that barely function. All the gameplay is lacking substance and is incredibly buggy. It's unplayable. There's a roller skating minigame, and I felt like I was basically being tortured because I accidentally got on it, and I could not leave. I was trapped because the steering was not functioning. Like, take everything you know about steering in video games and throw it right out the window. It's not inverted controls, it's not controlled by mouse, it's not controlled by directional keyboard input that consistently works. No, basically, you press the typical movement buttons, but they only respond about half the time. That is, if they even respond correctly at all. Sometimes I would just go in the opposite direction of what I was pressing. It was a mess. As for the other minigames, there's a selfie game, dance-off game, manicure challenge, beauty obby, and other stuff. There's not really much to know about those other than everything looks really choppy and it feels super awkward. And it's really funny because it's a corporate game. The creation is funded by the corporation. It's not some small lone developer who had the idea for this game. No, this is a corporate project. Yet if you give a 10 year old Roblox studio, they will make a better optimized game. It'll just happen. Like this is factual, this is law. I am willing to bet that the majority of 10 year old Roblox game devs can do something better. Now the weirdest thing about this game is the popcorn machine tower. I decided to take an adventure and go up inside this thing and see what's going on. And I guarantee you have no idea where this is going. Nothing could have prepared me for this. On one of the floors, there's a Netflix trivia game. And in that game, the second you turn it on, there's Noah Schnapp. Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Noah Schnapp, but you might know me as Will Byers from Stranger Things. Anyway, today we're gonna have some fun playing Netflix trivia here in Walmart Land. What is he doing here? Will got trapped in the Upside Down, and Noah is trapped in Walmart Land popcorn machine. I think I know which fate is worse. And then as if Noah Schnapp's surprise Walmart Land cameo wasn't enough, there's Kevin Jonas, also in the popcorn machine, talking about his new band. Yeah, now by far these people are the only highlights of this experience. The games are trash. Like, the only one that is kind of interesting is the DJ booth, where you jam pre-made tracks together to make something new. Usually what you end up with is something that sounds like an epic rap battles of history track. Now Walmart Land is not Walmart's only attempt to get their grubby little hands all over Roblox, no. There's a far more egregious, absolutely terrible, soulless game they made. Walmart Universe of Play. Now Walmart Universe of Play is not subtle in any way. It is the most blatant advertisement I have ever seen. It has a mission, a purpose, that is just trying to sell kids toys. That's the whole reason this game exists. And it's kind of really terrible when you think about it. That these kids are just playing advertisements. That's the gaming experience. Cause while the game has this is an advertisement plastered all over it, I don't think the kids are really reading and getting what that means. Now this game is easily the worst performing Roblox game I've ever played. 
My FPS was so bad, I felt like I was being shot back through time. Back before the talkies, before the moving pictures, back when the FPS was 8 hour exposure images. This performance should not happen for my PC. Like for example, Forza Horizon 5 on my system can run at max settings with over 100 FPS. So for it to struggle on this, I'm lost, but I mean, I can see some visible explanations for why this is happening. You can visibly see it's not optimized. They have high poly, custom demanding models everywhere, with animated movement, and tons of gameplay features that really try to do too much. And then they end up falling flat anyway. Now with the gameplay, what do you actually do in World of Play? Well basically you go around a bunch of different sections and try out mini games. There's a Paw Patrol area, Jurassic Park, Care Bears, Bakugan, LOL Surprise, and other brands scattered throughout. And the overall gameplay goal that connects all these areas is to collect toys. And when you find these toys, it's terrible. Sometimes the toys are in a treasure chest, and other times they're in a gift box. And when I say you're collecting toys, I don't mean you're collecting in-game models or things you can play with in the game. No, you're collecting pictures of real Walmart toys. You are collecting advertisements. Yeah, it feels like indoctrination. And it feels unsettling that this is now an actual means of advertising. But there is a sliver of hope that this isn't very effective for Walmart since, well, they don't know how to make a game. This probably can't run on any devices anyway. Now let's escape Walmart and talk about another dumpster fire I encountered. Hyundai Mobility Adventure. Now let me say this, adventure is a strong word they chose. It would be easier to watch paint dry than play this game. It is the game equivalent of soggy saltines that had all the salt licked off of them. This game is like you're eating someone's second hand pre-licked flavorless crackers. The only thing to really do in the game is drive a car. There's stuff on the side, but I mean that's mainly it. And I do understand the appeal of racing games, I do. I used to love them when I was younger, and currently I play Forza. I'm not insulting the validity of driving a car for gameplay. But here's the thing, car games or games centered around vehicle movement only really work if your thing actually has functioning movement. See, these cars you drive in this game are terrifying. I get whiplash looking at this. This video is not sped up in any way. This is genuinely just how the cars drive. It's hard to have any control over the vehicle and it's super jarring. Now what comes off as particularly insulting about this game is that the developers decided that they should really try to get players to sit through this experience and employ a bunch of gross player retention and monetary practices. Based on what they did, you would think this is a triple A game with a battle pass desperately trying to fight and survive. They have daily quests and a daily login reward system to get people to try to play their game daily, though it's being rather generous calling this a game. There's also levels and stats you can flaunt to other people, there are ranks and rank rewards you get from playing, multiple things to purchase in the game, and what's really gross is that there are tons of in-game purchases you can make with Robux which is real world currency basically. I don't care about Robux purchases in most other games because I mean, that funds the further development of the game. Most of the time it's from a lone developer or small team that can really use the purchases. But here with these games, what you're seeing is these big companies that definitely don't have to have a monetary stream of income coming from these. They still decided to make these games put purchases in it, despite the fact that they're staying afloat and this group isn't even their main audience. Like, what's the need? It's excessive. It seems it wasn't enough to put out a game for their company. No, nowadays you gotta introduce players into the Hyundai Mobility Adventure grind set. I feel like a battle pass is next. All I know is that all of these games we've discussed so far need to be put down. It feels pretty dystopian and we absolutely should not stand for any of this because if you give them an inch, they will take a mile. But let's talk about an honorable mention, Fruit Loops World. Oh, Fruit Loops World, you really are something else. You know the game is good when it says it legally can't be played in other countries. This game is for US audiences only. We're so sorry that our friends around the world can't play, but rules in other countries prevent us from making it available elsewhere. You gotta love how they're trying to build sympathy. 
with the use of the word friends and whatnot. Sorry, friends. Other countries won't allow us to aggressively advertise to newborns. This is very sad. Being Canadian, I've been spared of the torment that is getting to meet Roblox Toucan Sam. I have not gotten to play this game, but there are some recordings on YouTube of the gameplay and it's pretty clear that the quality is around the same par as the first Walmart game. Not the second because literally nothing could be worse than that, but this one's just pretty boring and it looks like a jungle with some poorly made obbies scattered around. Like it has the bare minimum of features to be considered a game. So that's that. In conclusion, society is hanging on by a thread. We now have corporations trying to market their products to newborn, freshly walking the earth humans through Roblox games, dipping their toes into the metaverse. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to stick around on the channel. I also have social media, merch, and a second channel. Thank you all for watching and have a great rest of your day.